They're not quite as famous as the golden driller, but the farm animals at 15th and Utica are landmarks in Midtown Tulsa. The statues are part of the H.L. Moss Company, which is not in the business of selling livestock. It's a place to go when things break down. Well, I tell people sooner or later we're like the bank of the post office. You've got to come see us for some reason or other. We do lots of uh, repairs and take care of lots of people to get them up and going again. Since 1960, Mary has been working at H.L. Moss. It's a store where they repair all types of appliances. The man behind this enterprise is H.L. Moss, who has been fixing broken stuff for more than a half century. Folks say, well, what do you do out there? Oh, I repair appliances. Oh, that place? Yeah, we know. We take anything in there, get a pair of scissors sharpened or a Coleman lantern fixed. It was 51 years ago when he opened his appliance repair store at 15th and Utica. Much of the business in those early days was fixing milkshake mixers that restaurants use. Now they repair an endless list of products here. It's the type of place that knows how to sharpen animal clippers. And they can take care of motorized kitty cars. Ovens, burners, mixers, irons, blenders, lamp. I'm just showing you what we have to have to back up our operation. We have to have a lot of salvage parts that is no longer available. A shop that fixes everything from power tools to electric razors needs a lot of parts. But places like this have been vanishing because in our throwaway society, many people would rather buy a new appliance than repair the old one. And many repair centers have closed. It's really been a challenge. A lot of the big ones have gone. Sunbeam have closed their service stations. GE has closed theirs down. In our computerized society, repairing appliances is a lost art. The H.L. Moss Company hangs on, though, an old-fashioned business in a high-tech world. We have people that bring toasters and coffee makers in here that are 25 years old because it was a wedding gift, see?